at this time and as when you first get here and your head spinning and everything else, what have you seen different from him off the field, how locked in he is mentally? Uh, when he first came here, you know, he was still – he never really played a lot of receiver, you know, and now he's he's doing the extra stuff and just learning the ins and outs of the outside receiver and he's he's taking it all in and, and putting it out on the field and you can and you can uh, see it. So, you know, we're, all, we're in film more, you know, we're – and meetings more and just trying to do the little things. How special and explosive can he be if he really does put it all together? Oh, man. <laughs> he, he can go. So, but uh, if you, if you, if the defense is not on their, not on their game, he can tear you up. You, you came in, they talked about having to learn some of the ins and outs of being a wide receiver. Same with Speedy because he was a quarterback also. How much further along is Christian Kirk? When y'all see him, are y'all a little bit jealous that he already has some of those skills already? Uh, not jealous, but just you can tell that he's been he's been in a receiver for a while. You know, he knows uh, he knows how to dip and rip and wing and all that. And uh, just for him to come in with Coach Moorhead, it just – makes him get more better than what he was because, you know, he came in, he, he was smooth, he was nice. So, you know, just for him to already be a receiver, he kind of had the edge. But when Coach Murray came, just to show him a little bit more, it helps him a lot. If it's you, Speedy, Christian, and Josh Reynolds lining up at the same time, that's three five-star guys and then a guy that basically no one had heard of coming out of high school. What is it about Josh Reynolds? He said when he first got here, he knew who you were because you were the number one athlete in the state, but not a lot of people knew him. What is it about him that's allowed him to be so successful? I think because he had a chip on his shoulder and uh, just how he came in and just and learned and made plays. You know, he, he didn't talk much. You know, he just did what he had to do. And, you know, you tell him something, he talk, he responded, and he'll tell you something like, hey, Rick, maybe try this, or Speedy, try this. And he just got, we just got so close, you know. It wasn't like he came in and felt like, oh, he wasn't a five-star, so, you know, I don't really need, info, I don't really want to talk to y'all. He just came in and we all just bonded, and that's what made us great. Did he surprise you guys? He surprised a lot of us. <laughs> uh, I mean, he didn't surprise. I mean, if, if, if they offer you, you have to be good. And so when he came in, he uh, he, he he was good. I mean, there's no way around it. So nah, it wasn't a surprise. So you know the the holes opening up bigger and all that. You know, just better uh better pass. I mean, uh, better run protection and all that. Changed up. Did you ever consider the surgery last year, or was that never an option? No, no, I wasn't gonna sit out my first year. I come to, <laughs> I come to uh, D1. You know, I was I was either gonna fight for my spot if I didn't. You know. That's it. I'm just gonna fire from my spot. I'm sure the coaches were yeah. okay with that. <laughs> or tell you the truth, I don't think I figured it out until about until about a couple of games into the season. Okay. You know, and then I got my MRI. When did you know that you know I, I'm playing at a high level? Uh, at, you know, at a and in, in this offense. Um, I would say uh, probably coming in for spring. Coming in for spring, I just you know. I, I was uh I was one of the more consistent receivers, you know, just stats wise. So I was like maybe uh maybe I can do this in the in the league, you know, and then everything happened. Do you think that you will be thrown to as often uh, this season, more, or will uh, you know Speedy and and Ricky and both of those guys the way they're coming along? Is it going to be harder to get? <laughs> Uh, is there gonna be enough ball to go around? <laughs> All I know is uh, defense is gonna have trouble guarding uh, all four of us. You uh, know, me, Speedy, Kurt, and uh, and Rick. You know, they just I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you if uh, I'm gonna be getting the ball more. Well, I, I couldn't tell you none of that. Uh, I, I'm not too sure. You know, it's just how defenses play us. We've been hearing about how much improved Ricky has gotten. Do you yeah. see that? And, and what do you see? Yeah, he has. Uh, he's he's became more uh, confident, in, you know, in his size and all that, and he's starting to use his size uh, to his advantage. His, uh, I'm sorry. His, yeah, his six six figure, <laughs> two two thirty. You know, it's a big guy. Two eighty. I'm trying. I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to gain another five and gain another ten. But I'm at two eighty right now. What were you when you got here? Two thirty. It's two thirty when I got here. Two and maybe two twenty five. you played at? Last year I played 260. Yeah. Um, when you, 
when you were inside, you, is that is that an effort for you guys to get more of a pass rush? In your opinion? Um, I, I, you're gonna have Coach Davis that one. Uh, what is it? They, just blind, they say, hey, go play D tackle one day, and then I played it pretty well. And then they're like, all right, you can keep on getting more reps. And then they told me to gain 20 pounds. So you could ask Coach Chavis, oh, what what happened while I'm in that D tackle? I just know I'm playing. I just know I'm playing three tech and shade now. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. How how much improvement have you seen physically and in terms of depth from the other inside guys over the last couple of seasons? Oh, you know, it's been crazy. You know, Lonzo Lon gets happy whenever you tell him that he doesn't have to play a hundred snap game anymore. You know, because uh, he's like, the end of the game, I'm just I'm just out there. But um, you know, it's awesome because the scheme's a lot simpler. We have a lot of young talent, so that allows the freshmen to come in and be able to play. And then another thing is we have like two or we have like three or four, two two or two year two year plus guys who can come in and play. So we have essentially like not six or seven guys that can come and play a D tackle, which we haven't had since I've been here. So you know that's just that's just really good to have. When you go home, why do people react when they see this oh. much bigger Julian? Oh, <laughs> my mom was scared. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and none of my clothes fit anymore, so we had to go to the, we had to go to we had to go to the mall and buy me all these clothes. So my parents were kind of upset that none of my clothes fit anymore. But uh, you know they were happy. You know it's for it's for football. You know. It gives, it gives me a chance to play a lot more, so they're happy about that. You shop at the big and tall place? <laughs> Whatever I can get clothes, I'll shop, man. It's all right now. Wherever I can get clothes. Could you have ever envisioned yourself at this size? Yeah, it's it's funny because I remember telling my best friend before I, uh, before I left to come here, I was like, I'll ne they'll never make me fat. They'll, I'll never become a D-tackle. And then senior year, they wait to tell me that, yeah, you're playing D-tackle. So it was really funny. My friend was shocked when he saw me. So. Put on 20 pounds? I, yeah, I put on 20 pounds. Since the last time you see me, I put on 20 pounds. How do you put on 20 pounds that fast? Uh, you, it's a uh, change to your diet that you have to stick with every single day. It's uh, it's nothing terribly hard, but it's a little change that you stick with every day. You, would, you know, Miles has gotten a lot of attention, but mm -hmm. with just physically and in, in his development, Deshaun Hall, how do you feel like what you have in store for him? You know, I, I love Dede. I, I'm, I'm happy Dede progressed because he let me move the tackle. You know, I like playing the tackle a lot more than I like playing the end. So, you know, I love the way Dede's progressed. He's gotten a lot stronger. You know, he had some shoulder issues earlier. He's gotten a lot stronger. He's gained a lot of experience. This scheme is for guys like Miles and Dede. You know, Dede, Dede's coming along has allowed me to move inside and I'm thankful for it.